even though you saw you know heightened support on both sides, a large part of the reason the polls again were off um, is just because it's very difficult to account for uh, the model in a presidential where you have so many new people coming into the process. Is there a danger for the public to be you know dependent on these types of? Polls? Oh, I think so. I think so. Um, I'll give you one kind of short and small anecdote about it. Um, you know, Democrats were feeling very good about um, potentially taking the Senate um, in this cycle. Now they're, they're at 48 right now. We're gonna find out in January what happens with these two last Georgia seats. But $200 million, um, mainly in small donor money, went to uh, Amy McGrath in Kentucky in her bid to unseat uh, Majority Leader McConnell and Jamie Harrison in South Carolina to, in his bid to unseat Senator Lindsey Graham. Um, those races were never close. Neither one of those candidates were ever really in striking distance of the Republican incumbents that were there. However, they brought in $200 million in small donor um, donations that could have flooded into state legislative seats. You know, they could have aided Democrats in the seven or eight uh, U.S. House seats that they lost. Um, not to mention in other battleground states that really kind of came down to a sliver.